So this video is for programming challenge 9-1, create an employee data. Create employee data, create an application that allows a user to enter the following employee data, the first name, middle name, last name, employee number, department, telephone number, telephone extension, and email address. The programs for Department of Accounting, Administration, Marketing, MIS and sales. Once the data is entered, the user should be able to save the file. Show, below shows an example of how it should look, which is here. Should have a combo box to, for the department, save the record and writes the record to the file, clear the button and an exit button. Write code in the form load event that handles the enter the name of the file. If the file does not exist, it will be created. Be appended to the file. Okay, so here is what I did. This is what the form looks like. This is a group box. This is a, these are all labels. First name, middle name, last name, employee, whoops. Uh, no, not doing that. So, last name, department, telephone, extension number, and your email address. So, these are all text boxes. This is a combo box from over here from the combo box there. And then in the collections of the combo box, which is here, this is where originally I had it say, um, what was it accounting administration, uh, marketing, MIS and sales, but you don't need that. You put that in the form load event, which to, oh, there, I had a question The um, I got an email about somebody wanting to know how you, you get a global variables module. And to do that, you right click on your project like that. And then you go down to add, you go down to past form, go down to module, click module. And then you, have, see it's already selected on the module here module one and this is where I changed the name to global variables and then then you click add and that creates a, a thing it already exists because I have it in the form already so do I want to give it another unique name okay ask me to do it again I'll call this I'm, I'm just going to delete this, but this is. One. And it creates the, the module here and it says, see how it says module. And then this is where you enter your global variables information, which I did in that one. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete the, that one. And we'll double click on the one I already created, the module. And this is the, where you make a, a string array here. You got accounting, administration, marketing, and MIS and sales. And you got your index counters, your integers, one, two, and three. And this is for zero would be accounting, uh, one would be administration, marketing would be two, MIS. I don't not think that's exactly how I use that, but it could be. So anyway, we'll go back to the form. And then on the load event, this is where we put our input box first. Enter the name of the file you want to create. So we're creating a file, the output file name right here. 
That's the name of the TXT file. You, so I, I'm going to call this employee.txt, but it's the output file is what really what it's called. And then we added the items accounting to our, our uh, combo box. And my essence sales. And then, so that's on the form load event. So that's when it first loads up. So we got the save the file button here too. So save the document to file. Oh, oh, one other thing you need to add on this. If you add a, a dialog box here, go down and you open up dialogs over here and then put a save file dialog, which is this here. So you click on it and you put it here. And then the, what I did, I changed the name of that to SFD, which is a save file dialog, save file here. SFD, save file dialog, save file. And then, if, whoops, I don't need that. Delete it. So, if the string file name is nothing, then if save file dialog box is show the dialog of the save file so the windows file log dialog box is okay then the file name equals the save file dialog box file name and then we'll go down to the save document procedure or method i should say and then we end it else we save the document so our method for the save document is we have the output file as a stream writer, which is the same name we used up here. So output file equals create file file name. I put file file name. This puts your first name of the te uh, your first text field dot txt mid name last name employee number the department you selected this writes the phone number the t t txt and then we close the output file and the boolean is changed that's false and if that didn't happen, we had an error creating the file. We enclosed all that in a try statement, which is like an if statement. So up top, we declare class variables. We have a Boolean, it's false. File name as a string. Selection as a string. A lot of these I didn't use. First. Oh, I remember I was going to use them, but I didn't need to. I just used the names in the file boxes. So anyway, let's see how that works. .txt. Okay. We call that employee.txt. And we're saving the file and place it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll clear it. And then we'll exit it. So that's programming challenge 9-1 for Visual Basic, uh, Introduction to Visual Basic by Anthony Gaddis and Kip Irvine for Shasta College, Fall 2012. Thanks for watching. Bye.